Within hours of January 6th, literally hours, you began to hear that day described as a deadly insurrection, and not described by one news outlet or one politician, but in unison by all of them, almost like it was coordinated, a deadly insurrection. That's how history may record January 6th. But the tape that we reviewed from within the building on that day proves it was neither an insurrection nor deadly. Here it is. January 6th, when an estimated 2,000 rioters breached the Capitol building, causing the deaths of five police officers. Certain dates echo throughout history. December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001. And January 6th. The mob beat officers with anything they had on them. Hockey stick, a flagpole, a fire extinguisher. Police officers died. Donald Trump supporters who, of course, rioted and killed police officers. By the evening of January 6th, the Democratic Party and its publicists in the national news media had settled on a description of what had happened that day. They distilled an enormous number of highly complex events, events that even now we don't fully understand, into a single emotionally related political slogan, which they've repeated for years with remarkable discipline. January 6th, they said, was a deadly insurrection. There was a deadly insurrection that the right wing is trying to cover up. He incited a deadly insurrection. Incited a deadly insurrection. The violent, deadly insurrection on the Capitol nine months ago, it was about white supremacy in my view. A deadly insurrection. Everything about that phrase is a lie. Very little about January 6th was organized or violent. Surveillance video from inside the Capitol shows mostly peaceful chaos. But the slogan worked. The term deadly carries enormous emotional power, which is why they used it. To prove the insurrection was deadly, propagandists pointed to the death of an officer called Brian Sicknick. The mob killed Officer Brian Sicknick. That's what they said. It was their single most powerful indictment of the January 6th protesters and of Donald Trump and of Republican voters nationally. They repeated that claim for years. They are still repeating it. At first, they told the country that Officer Sicknick was murdered with a fire extinguisher. Officer Brian Sicknick died after being hit in the head with a fire extinguisher during the fight. That story came from the New York Times, which is effectively the assignment editor for most of the rest of American media. It was a lie, untrue in any way. But only after that lie had hardened into conventional wisdom did the newspaper bother to retract it. The New York Times has quietly retracted its story about the death of Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. The damage had been done. Brian Sicknick, himself a Trump voter, had been transformed without his consent into a political martyr of the left. His memory was shamelessly exploited by the incoming Biden administration. In February of 2021, Sicknick's body lay in state in the Capitol Rotunda, where a parade of unscrupulous politicians made use of it. Here's Joe Biden. Breaking down the doors, trying to overturn an outcome of election, and killing several police officers in the meantime. But Brian Sicknick should not be reduced to a prop for the political ambitions of the Democratic Party. He was a human being. The facts of his life matter, including how he died. To this day, media accounts describe Sicknick as someone who was, quote, slain on January 6th. The video we reviewed proves that is a lie. Here is surveillance footage of Sicknick walking in the Capitol after he was supposedly murdered by the mob outside. By all appearances, Sicknick is healthy and vigorous. He's wearing a helmet, so it's hard to imagine he was killed by a head injury. Whatever happened to Brian Sicknick was very obviously not the result of violence he suffered at the entrance to the Capitol. This tape overturns the single most powerful and politically useful lie the Democrats have told us about January 6th. And it was indeed a lie. The January 6th committee knew perfectly well that Brian Sicknick was walking normally through the Capitol after he was supposedly murdered by Trump supporters. And they know that because they saw this tape. We can be sure because the footage contains an electronic bookmark that is still archived in the Capitol's computer system. That means that investigators working for the Democratic Party reviewed this tape. They saw it, but they refused to release the tape to the public. Why? Because this tape would shatter the fraud they were perpetrating on the country. Because hiding the truth served their political interest. They lied about the police officer they claimed to revere. 
If they were willing to do that, then their dishonesty knew no limits. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.